So if you're one of those stock photography contributors that was using Wirestock as your main tool to upload and sell images, and you've now stepped back from Wirestock as a result of their subscription model, you might be wondering if there are any alternatives out there that provide a similar sort of service. Uh, and there's one. And I thought I'd overview that service today uh, so that you know about it, I guess, first. But secondly, um, can consider it as an option for you uh, as a tool to upload your stock photos and generate some stock photo income or video income or AI generated content or, or whatever you're into. So that site is a site I've mentioned before. It's called Cavan Images. And let's just get right into it right now. Okay, I'm gonna do two things. The first thing I'm gonna do is give a general overview of Cavan Images. I'm not gonna to spend too much time on it because uh, if this is something that you're interested in, you can certainly go in and take a deep dive yourself. Uh, the second thing I'm gonna do is provide my experience with Cavan, um, as minimal as it is. And I think that's probably the most important thing because I, I think my experience can at least give you some uh, thoughts on whether this is a site that you're interested in signing up to you and uploading your images and your your uh, stock assets too. First thing that I'm going to talk about is that Cavan Images is what they call themselves as a distributing agency and basically this just means that you can upload assets here and they will do two things. First they will put them up for sale on Cavan directly. Secondly they will send them to their partner agencies around the world so that they can distribute them separately and then uh, you earn some income on that. Uh, the thing to say about this is that they claim to have 30 agencies, so a much larger network than Wirestock currently has. Uh, they're saying that they're the largest in the world. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Um, obviously they have the main sites like Adobe and Getty and Shutterstock. Uh, so it's, it's a big network and um, the benefits and the pluses of selling through a single site to multiple agency are fairly obvious. So that's the first thing to understand about Cavan. Now let's move on. So what kind of assets can I sell? Basically, you are able to sell images, stills, uh, video, and now you can sell AI generated content as well, provided that it meets all the technical requirements. Now, the next thing I just wanted to let you know is that, um, and this connects back to the distributing agency component, they do submit your images to both premium and micro collections. So this essentially allows you to tap into the full stock market so you're not just gonna have your images sent to micro sites like Shutterstock. Of course, the images and the assets are screened. And so not everything is gonna to go to premium. In fact, for the most part, I think that it's safe to say that most will go to micro unless you're a really sort of top end photographer doing unique content. So I would say that for the most part, Cavan will be diverting your content through micro more than premium. The next thing that I think is important to know about Cavan is that they have pro accounts and free accounts. So unlike Wirestock, which only has the subscription accounts, Cavan still keeps a split model of uh, subscription or free. And so you can participate even if you're not interested in paying a monthly subscription fee. So let's just jump into what those, what the attributes of each of those accounts looks like. So here's kind of a, a quick uh, overview of the features that go with uh, basic and pro. Pro costs $12.99, uh, 13 bucks a month, basically US. And for sales that you get through the Cavan website on a basic, you get 40% of whatever Cavan sells the image for. So that's pretty low. Uh, but if you have Pro, you earn 100% of the commission for whatever Cavan makes. Uh, with agency partner sales, which is probably going to be where most of the sales are, uh, you're going to get 40% of the earnings. 
and 50% of your pro. Now contrast that with wire stock where you were getting 85%. So there's a significant difference in the amount you earn as commission on each of the sales. Uh, and then there's a bunch of functionality that comes with the website. Uh, because I have a basic account myself, I don't have access to any of this stuff, but you get a lot of control over how your content is submitted to which which sites, for example. Uh, you see a lot more statistics. You get access to this Hire Me button for commission work. Uh, you have a user badge. I don't know what how much value is there in that. Better reports, as I said. And so there's not a ton of upside to the pro account at this point, uh, other than these two commission rates, which for agency partner sales is actually, the difference is actually pretty minor. Now let's just jump into my contributor dashboard. Okay, so uh, as you can see, this is the contributor portal. The menu is over here. The content manager is basically where you submit your images. Uh, I should say that the process is fairly clunky. Uh, the metadata is not recognized from your files uh, if you're meta adding metadata in Lightroom. Uh, so you have to keyword and describe in the Cabin website, which is not the easiest. Uh, so the uploading process is kind of leaving something to be desired. Uh, as you can see, I only have four images in my portfolio shows nine views, don't really care about the views too much. Uh, but I should say that I have uploaded more than four. Uh, what I found was is that the rejection rate on the images that I uploaded was very high. And so if you're a contributor that's um, essentially like myself, a hobbyist, who's not engaged in professional photography, then this site is going to be a little bit more challenging than some of the more traditional Microstock sites like Shutterstock or Dreamstime or Adobe Stock where it's fairly easy to get stuff submitted if you take just a little bit of time to ensure that your images are meeting the technical requirements. Here was much different, much more selective, only four of my images were accepted. And my view on this is that with a 40% commission plus the highly selective reviews, that this site is a very challenging site for a contributor, for a stock contributor. Now, you have to weigh that against the fact that there's over 30 partner agencies. So potentially your portfolio is exposed to a much greater selection of buy buyers. And that might sort of balance some of the problems associated with the low commission and the low acceptance rate. Uh, but for me, I don't see those factors as weighing towards really participating in this site. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. Uh, I'd be curious to know if you have any thoughts, if you've used Kevin more extensively than I have, particularly if you have a pro account. Uh, or whether this is something that you would just generally consider to minimize your work and um, still get a lot of different content out to a lot of different uh, buyers through different, different sites. So anyway, hopefully, hopefully this was helpful and we will see you soon.